Yeah. So one of the best things about NYU School of Medicine is how adaptive and creative we have to be when in a pinch. Um, so we apologize. The computer was not working for live, so we're going to be doing this from mobile. So we apologize that we're really far away and really close together. <laughs> if you can't hear us, please send a comment so we can know and we'll try to figure that out. Uh, so why don't we introduce ourselves first? Sounds good. So this, this program's all about moving to New York City, and we are all from out of town um, and wanted to tell us uh, tell a little bit about our experience. So my name is Elise Brollenberg. I'm a second year here at NYU, and I hail from the San Francisco Bay Area by way of Los Angeles, then San Francisco again, before finally ending up here. Hi, everyone. I'm Sabrina. I'm an M1, so first-year medical student here. Um, I'm from California, actually the same place, um, right south of San Francisco. I went to school in Baltimore, uh, moved back to California for a year, and now I'm here. Hi, my name is Nikhil. Uh, my home is in Columbus, Ohio, and then I went to school in St. Louis, and I'm now here in New York City, and I'm a first-year student here as well. Okay. So it sounds like we've got a few questions for us. Um, oh, no, we're not. Excuse me. I think that we're going to go with those. Do you have those questions? Remember those questions? Not okay. off the top of my head. Would you like to ask me one? Uh, like sure. Do. <laughs> um, do you want to first start by telling us what was the first question? Why you why why NYU? You chose NYU? And where are you from? But and certainly, and we already did that one. So I picked NYU for a number of reasons. First and foremost, as much as I try and put this into logical reasons, a lot of picking a good medical school is just listening to your gut. Sometimes something feels right before you can even put words to it. And that's the way I felt about NYU and one of the major reasons I picked here. Now after I had that gut feeling, all of the logical reasons that I ascribed to why I ultimately felt so connected here, um, a variety of things. So number one, about halfway through my medical school application process, I realized that it was really important to me to actually leave California. I felt like even though I had been there for most of my life, it was really important for me to learn how to function and thrive in a new place. Um, and also to just expand my, my own understanding and the way I uh, related to people and thought it was really important to my personal growth. So I started having conversations with my family because family is really important to me um, about how can we make this work because this is something I really want to do. So. Um, New York City, fortunately, is also kind of a romantic dream for a lot of Americans. Everybody wants to make it in the big city, and that was definitely a draw for me here. Another reason I picked NYU was because of the clinical um, partners that we work with here. So some of you may remember from your tour, but NYU is on the hospital super block. So all in walking distance, we have a VA, a public hospital, and probably the penultimate public hospital um, for all of the United States, and a private hospital and a hospital that looks more like a hotel than a hospital. <laughs> and so it was really important for me to be able to learn from all those clinical settings, plus I never really wanted to drive again, and I could walk to each of them. So those were all really important to me. Uh, last but not least, I would say the vibe at NYU was really important to me because I feel like there's a culture of innovation here and NYU is really big about pushing the envelope and thinking of new initiatives to try and make medical education better, to try and make a great impact on its local community and the broader community of the world, um, and also to just push, push boundaries of what we think a hospital system and, um, and a hospital can be. So those all kind of summated and put together, they were the reasons that I decided to ultimately come here. So why did you get to decide to come here? I think since you have to leave in five minutes, should we just ask you all the questions? Sure, we can okay. do that. Should That's we great. jump to the last one? Of, do you have any advice for these students? A hundred percent. Let me think of the prime advice that I would say. Um, I would say, go with your gut. Similar thing to what I started with, why I picked here. Um, especially if you're able to come to a revisit event, it's really important to think about where you feel comfortable because not only is this your school, but this is also your home for the next four years. So I think it's really important to try and stay tuned to the way that you feel in the environment that you're considering. And so if you can, come visit, and re uh, visit us for revisit in April. 
Um, and otherwise, listen to the wisdom of elders, including Sabrina and Nikhil here, who are going to tell you a little bit more about why they decided to come to New York City. Sure. And do you want to add, like, what you love most about New York City? I think that's sure. another big question that that's we That's a really big question. Love. And what you don't love. And what I don't like. All right, so what I love about New York City. So this is the cultural hub of the entire United States. If you have a passion, you can find it here. Um, I really love being in a city because I can have great access to arts and culture and museums. And I feel like New York City in particular is full of people who all love talking and um, bubbling over with excitement about the things that they love to do. So not only have I met medical students here who are really passionate about healthcare, but I also have the opportunity to make friends with artists and make friends with other graduate students who are passionate about law or about finance. Um, I feel just that, that verve, that level of excitement here in New York City is, is just unlike anywhere else. Um, I think also, like I said, I really don't love driving and being <laughs> in New York City is great because you can get around very easily. If you are interested in a concert or a show, it always passes through New York City. The downside is, is that this excitement means that the baseline level of stimulus in New York City is pretty high. Um, and can be a lot to get used to, to be honest. And I really underestimated how long it would take me to get used to it and um, find those pockets of people that I like spending time with in this really, really big city. But six months to a year in, I actually noticed for the first time, usually when I go home and come back, there's a little bit of a transition period. For sure. Um, and actually, this last time I went home and I came back, I remember go, you know, leaving the airport, um, taking the bus back to, to Vilcek, and I just was like looking around while I was walking and thinking, wow, this is home. Aww. Even after your delay, that's great. <laughs> oh, yes, <yeah, so> 12 <laughs> hours. <laughs> I hope you've started to feel that way about a year in so a little bit. That's good. All right. Well, I actually have to skip off, but if you have any other questions, both Nikhil and Sabrina are great people to talk to. We'll see you later. Scoot over a little bit. All right, Sabrina, why don't you start off and tell us why you chose to come here to NYU. Sure, um, I'll lump that also into just like my decision relocating as well, because I think it all ties together pretty nicely. Um, so to start off, I'm from California. I love California. Um, it's where my entire family is. It's where my grandparents, my parents, all my aunts and uncles, my cousins. So after going to school on the East Coast, I was at Hopkins in Baltimore for um, three years, and I really wanted to go back home and so I spent my gap year at home and that only wanted made me want to stay in California even longer um, and so when I was trying to make a decision I was really looking between state schools and NYU and um, all throughout the spring I was really certain that I was going to be end up in California because that was where my support system was and people kept telling me that having a really good support system in medical school because it's so hard um, it's just really necessary. So when I came here for revisit, I was, it was actually to roll this school out. Um, I hadn't had given it much thought at all. Um, but when I came, I realized that everybody cared so much about each other. It wasn't just you know the classmates, but also faculty and administration. People really seemed like they wanted to listen to what we had to say. Um, and there was this sense of community that I had never felt when I interviewed or when I visited other schools. And because of that, I decided ultimately to come here because I felt that even though I'd be, you know, 3,000 miles from home, um, I would be able to find a support system here through my classmates and um, through the faculty and through the administration. And so that's my story and that's why I'm here. I do miss home a lot, um, but the good thing about New York City is that everybody wants to come visit. So I'm always having like family, I'm always having friends over, and so there's always a little reminder of home, you know, every couple weekends. And how often are you able to go home? I'm able to go home, so I went home for Thanksgiving for five, six days, and then I'm going home for Christmas for two weeks. And for second semester, I really enjoyed going home for Thanksgiving a lot, so I'm probably gonna take off a couple days and go home maybe once or twice. Thanks. Yeah, so why don't we t move over to you and sure. tell your story. Uh, so like I said, I grew up in Columbus and then I went to school in St. Louis. So the Midwest had been my home for the first 20, 
two, three years of my life, and I love the Midwest. I actually, when I was first doing my applications, I had excluded New York straight off the bat <laughs> because I, I did not want to come to New York. Um, and actually, a lot of the East Coast was just, I was really excited about staying somewhere in the Midwest, um, or maybe I had thought about California, but um, it was actually... Um, after the, so for our class, the, the tuition announcement came midway through our application cycle and it was at that point that I chose to apply. Um, and so my decision to come to NYU did start with tuition, um, but it's definitely not where it ended. And so for me, um, that is, I fortunately worked out that that's what got me to apply. And then I was fortunate enough to be invited for an interview and accepted. And then after I came here for a revisit, um, similar to Sabrina, one of the things I noticed was just how incredible the, the school is at listening to what students need and what they're looking for um, and that's something that I've noticed even more ever since I've gotten here is that a lot of the way that our curriculum is currently designed and the student experience is designed is very based on feedback that previous students have given and, and I would say that's something that a lot of medical schools I'm sure can offer but NYU I've noticed it very strongly that the best parts of our curriculum so for example we have exams every couple of weeks and mostly on Fridays. That was something that came from students giving that feedback. They used to be on Mondays a few years ago, and students were like, we don't, we don't like this. We don't like that we study all weekend, have a test on Monday, and then um, have to go and get started on the next one on Tuesday. And so that was something that the faculty listened to, and they're like, all right, this is fixable. We can just move this to Friday. Um, another example is there's a virtual reality component that you'll hear about, I believe, more in a future Facebook Live video. but. Um, when sort of NYU was starting to figure out how to incorporate that into anatomy, there were some things that they had worked really hard on, but students weren't feeling it when they had started it, started with it. And so then the faculty were very flexible in trying to say, you know, if this isn't working for you, we can scrap it and, and rework it and make this something that will work for you. But if it's not working for you now, we don't need to continue with it. And that's something that I think just shows how much the administration and faculty here care about the student experience and not just doing um, what they think will be best, but what based on feedback that we think is working for us. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I just heard over and over and over when I came to revisit, and that was really one of the major factors that made me feel like this was going to be a good place for me. Um, and on top of all of the things that Sabrina and Elise both said, we have an outstanding population of patients here. There are more things um, that you will see and more types of people who you will meet than anywhere else in the country. Um, if not the world. <laughs> if not the world, honestly. Um, even I remember my very first bedside, we ran, we had gone to see a patient who had this rare disease we had never heard of, oh, which made so it for weird. a very challenging bedside because we didn't know what to ask, <laughs> but um, we walked out and our faculty member was like, I haven't seen a patient with that in like 10 years. Yeah. And so you'll get to see all sorts of interesting things if you come here. Um, what else? What are other reasons that I came here? Oh, like I said, so the, the, my decision to come here did start with tuition, but it certainly did not end with that. And uh, both at Revisit and ever since I've been here, I've learned that the admissions committee is incredible and they select not just for people who they think will do well here, but just an incredible group of people. I don't know how they do it. Uh, you're gonna have to ask me <laughs> at some point, but the, the way they, they selected for just the coolest group of people I've ever met in my life is game changing. Sabrina is one of my best friends here and um, and I love that that everyone here is very sweet. Yes, everyone works very hard and is very smart, but you don't feel that when you talk to them. Um, you just feel sort of compassion and warmth and, and it's just a great group of people. Um, for me, that's why I, I love being here and why I chose to come here. Sure. Sorry, that was a lot of things. No, I mean, <laughs> all of that is so true. And to add on, like once we came here, um, the the faculty feedback, I think, is such a major component, as Nikhil was saying, but we are just inundated with surveys, like surveys for lecture, surveys for lab, surveys for like student appreciation week, which was for us, but they still want to make that better. And that feels really good that everybody cares a lot about the way that we're growing and the way that we're thinking about wellness um, and just our overall curriculum. So I think that's a really big f factor to consider when you're um, thinking about a school, to really ask if like, you will be able to give feedback because that's really key. Right. Um, Do you want to share some of your highs and lows of being in New York City since you got here? Sure. Um, so I know one of the questions that we were given was, um, why did you decide on New York City? Mm -hmm. And on, to be completely honest, I was not a big fan of New York City. I chose New York for NYU and not the city. Um, I've always been, I've always loved suburbs. You know, I like driving in my car to Trader Joe's and like, mm -hmm 
picking up my groceries and going home and making a big meal and like sitting at a nice dining room table and surrounded by family and friends and eating it. Um, and I think that's something that I've had to adapt a lot in New York City. Um, but it's it's doable. I mean, we had a Friendsgiving. We all made food. Uh, Nicole made this really good tofu. Um, and we were we went to the, the student lounge and we sat around a fake campfire, which we put up on a... It was a, a screen. screen. It was a TV screen <laughs> campfire. Um, we all like dressed up into like nice holiday sweaters. And we had a Friendsgiving and we made it work. Um, there is still a Trader Joe's nearby. It's walking distance. Um, you, you do have to carry your groceries instead of drive. But, you know, we make it work. And um, I'm able to do the same types of things that I was doing in my gap year at home. Um, so I really appreciate that. I think what I really love about New York City is just the convenience. I can go downstairs and if I'm craving like a really specific type of like Chinese noodle that's super spicy, I can get it within like two blocks. And that's something that I never experienced back at home or even when I was in Baltimore. Um, I, and I think that's really underestimated because sometimes you're really tired and all you want is like some comfort food and you can find that so close. Um, and on top of that, just always having something to do. Um, every weekend, it's just a matter of like choosing what you want to do and how much you want to study and how much you want to go out um, because there's just so many things. One of the things that I really love and that we've taken advantage of a, a lot is the Broadway lotteries. Um, there's a system where you can like enter in different lotteries and I've won I think four or five times this semester. So that's like one of my favorite things to do is just going with a friend um, to see a show and it's just a 20 minute walk away and you can't find that anywhere else in the world I don't think. So those are my reasons for loving New York City or starting to fall in love with that at least. Okay. What do you have to add? Uh, so I realized that I started my last conversation with saying that I did not want to come to New York City and never answered how I'm feeling about it now. And that's that it's really, it's grown on me a lot. Um, I still, I have a special place in my heart for the Midwest, but New York City is definitely, I learned that you can really make what it, make of it what you would like. It doesn't have to be what you see in movies. I've totally pictured myself living in the middle of Times Square, and that is not what we do here. <laughs> we live, if you never want to go to Times Square, you can never go to Times Square, and I love that. Uh, that being said, if you want to, it's 20 minutes away. But, um, yeah, I mean, like Sabrina said, anything you want to do here, you can do here. It's not a question of, is this available, but how far is it and how long will it take me to get there? And um, if that's, you know, a certain kind of grocery shopping you need to do for a special, you know, ethnic ingredient, or if you want to find a certain type of food, or even if there's, um, you know, an interesting exhibition or show that is coming. There are all sorts of interesting things. I love Friends, and there was a Friends pop-up here in New York City, yeah. and that was amazing. Was That's something I would never would have found in St. Louis. And so... I went to a different Friends pop-up the same weekend. There was right. two in the city. Like, what are the chances? The city blows my mind. <laughs> um, but that being said, having been from the Midwest, I love... My, my favorite evening is just having some friends over, having some snacks and playing board games. And the number of times that I've been able to just do that in, in our residence hall in Vilcek is amazing. And like I said, it's a great group of students. They're always down for things like that. Not everyone here is also... You don't have to assume that your classmates will all be people who are going to be going out to clubs every night in New York City. You may have other people in your class who are like me and just down to hang out and have a, a relaxed night in. That also exists in the city. And so... Um, that's something that I wasn't thinking about initially, but that I'm glad has happened since I arrived here and that has very much been the case. Um, and so, like I said, the city's really grown on me as I've sort of learned more how to make it my own. And I think that's something that every one of you, if you, if you choose to come here, will have that experience as well. Yeah, for sure. Should we move on to advice to accepted students? Yeah, go for it. All right. Um, so I know Elise said that you sometimes just have this gut feeling that you have to go for. Um, I, I'm gonna oppose that a little bit because my gut feeling was to stay in California because that's just where home was and that's where I thought I wanted to be for so long. Um, but after coming to Second Look, I was really struggling to decide. I think those 20 days in April were like some of the 20 hardest days in my life um, because there's a part of me that thought, you know, if I come to New York, I might never come back because these would be where my connections are. Um, but then I made a like a T chart and looked at all the different things that I really valued. Um, I looked at you know um, the different students that would be at either school, um, the diversity, uh, how much I would be paying, a big one for sure, uh, what the curriculum was like, um, and I also factored in my family as well. But at the end of the day, 
I would say like 80% of those arrows pointed at NYU. And that's why I'm here. And I think because I did that, I can never say that, you know, I regretted going to my state school because I really thought about it very logically. And all those reasons why I chose NYU to begin with, they still stand now. And I think that that was like the most logical way I could have done it. And so it wasn't a gut feeling for me. If it was a gut feeling, I would have been in California. Um, but I don't regret my decision ever. And so it's, that's, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> Sorry, Elise. <laughs> Um, and that's something you would, you'll discover is everyone has a very interesting way of making this decision and it's, you have to figure out what, is, what feels best for you. Um, for me, my advice is, I have a feeling Eva Bear is not going to like when I say this, but um, it's, I th if you think about when you were trying to decide where you wanted to go to undergrad, where you sort of agonize over all of the little things that are different among all of these schools, and then you go to that school and you never know what it would have been like somewhere else. And so all these little things probably didn't end up making that much of a difference. But there are some things that do matter. Like Sabrina was saying, you know, how close is her family in a support system? And, um, you know, what kind of lifestyle are you looking for in the city that you're going to? In New York City, you have the luxury of being able to get whatever you want. Um, so I think figuring out, as you're, as you're making something like a chart, if you, if you are that person, thinking carefully about what is actually important in the school that I'm going to, because some things may not matter as much as you realize. For example, like our class was the first one here to only have done uh, prosected cadavers for our anatomy. We don't know what, what it would have been like to do the dissections ourselves. And that's something that, you know, had we factored that into our decision, we, it's, it's a difficult thing to actually realize because you don't know, you only get one experience, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And mm -hmm. so picking the things that are most important as you're trying to do that, um, as you're trying to make this decision is, something that I know is very difficult to do, but that's something I'd really encourage you to think very, very carefully about. Yeah. I that's apologize really if that advice. wasn't clear. <laughs> um, feel free to message me if you have questions on how to clarify that. Ask if you have questions and then you can send them. So if you have any questions, do we want them to send them now? Sure. Sure. So if, you, if anyone who is watching now, if you have any questions, feel free to send them and we can try to answer them now. Um, I'm sure Sabrina and I can just babble on for another minute or two while you're writing your questions, but you're also welcome to send either of us questions or the, on the admissions page you can post questions, I believe. Yeah. Um, so feel, please feel free to do that. We are here to, do, to answer your questions and we're very excited to hopefully meet many of you sometime yeah. in the spring. Yes, please come to revisit. It was the reason why I came here. and. Um, I think it's it's a really great weekend and you'll see what we have to offer um, and hopefully really fall in love with this program and the people that you meet. Yeah, Revisit is a very special weekend. You'll I met Sabrina for, for the very first time at Revisit. Doesn't remember me. I wasn't going to say that, <laughs> but, <laughs> but several of the friends who I am very close with now, I met my, room, my roommate who I love to pieces, his name is Alex. I'm sure you'll all meet him if you come here. Um, but revisit is a special time. I know that a lot of times the revisits for different schools are conflicting. Um, so if you have a choice between somewhere else and here, come here because it's better. It definitely um, will be. Yeah. I don't think I went to any other revisit, but I can like. I also only went to this 100%. one, but other people said that there's there were some conflicting ones. Uh, okay. So anyway, it was very nice for we we had a great time. A pleasure of ours. This is not words. We had a great time getting to talk to you. Um, and again, if there's anything else that you need, please feel free to reach out to us or anyone else on the admissions team. Definitely. All right, we're just signing off now. How do I do this? Uh... Finish.